Raider Nation, it's your boy Simon Raider back at again with another video. Today I'm going to just be giving my final thoughts on this whole Khalil Mack trade going to the Bears. I know I did an instant reaction. I went live basically on Saturday morning, uh, the morning of we found out that Khalil Mack got traded to the Raiders and just a lot of news that's been going on since then and there's a lot of stuff I didn't really address in that video but i'm gonna do it in this video and before i get started with that raider nation like i always say if this is your first time watching this video and you haven't subscribed already then subscribe hit that subscribe button and hit that notification icon just to notify you guys when i upload another random video like i did today so i know everybody knows the big news what really happened basically khalil mack got traded to the Chicago Bears. My initial reaction the morning I found out, I woke up Saturday morning to a text from one of my friends and he said Khalil Mack got traded to the Bears and I was like, nah, this, this is not real. I'm one of those guys that really thought he was gonna re-sign with us or he was probably gonna hold out a little longer and then we'll re-sign him later. I don't know, or we'll tag him. I don't know, I didn't know what to expect Raider Nation, but I did not expect as well as the Raider fans, did not expect the Raiders to trade Khalil Mack. Obviously it's a business and I can understand two sides of it and I'm just a fan and I know a lot of people are just fans and we want him to be here, like pay the guy, just pay him, you know, give him whatever he wants. He deserves it. He's the best defensive player in the whole league. And that's my fan side of this whole thing. But from the player's perspective, you know, I understand he's trying to get paid and he wants to get the money that he deserves, you know? I didn't think that we would have paid him what the Chicago Bears would have paid him, but while I was going live, Raider Nation, I heard that we actually offered him 20 million and he didn't take it. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I can't speculate any of that, but if that is true and we did offer him, then I know it comes off as Khalil Mack being greedy and not wanting to be a part of the Raider Nation, which I don't know, I don't understand. But it just sucks, because we had a great player, and I know it looks bad on Reggie McKenzie's side as well. This is a guy he drafted. Basically a name that stuck with Reggie McKenzie as one of the greatest drafts that he's ever had. The same draft that we got Derek Carr, Gabe Jackson, Jelly Bean Ellis. So I did find out. When I first heard about this, we already knew that they basically gave us what we wanted, which was two first round picks. And I thought we were gonna get a player with that, but it looks like we're not. We get a 2019 first round pick with a 2019 sixth round pick, and also a 2020 first round pick with a 2020 third round pick, if I'm not mistaken. If you really look, look at it, you know, right now, right? In this moment right now, the whole Raider Nation is stuck on Khalil Mack getting traded. A once in a generation player gets traded. No one's gonna care about the draft picks right now because draft picks are not gonna help us right now. And we're trying to win a bowl. We're trying to win a Super Bowl before we leave Oakland to go to Las Vegas. And I don't know if that was the best thing to do right now. But I had a lot of time to kind of sit back, relax, get my thoughts together. I know a lot of emotions are high with the Raider Nation. You know, looking at the bigger picture, if this does work out, we got four first round picks in the next two years. And come NFL draft time, draft time, you know, everybody gets hyped. We all come out with our mock drafts. And during that draft season, we're gonna be hyped because we have two first round picks in the next two years. And that can help us maybe move up. Hopefully, hopefully the Bears do crappy this season so they can have a top pick which would be our pick and we'd be straight this move is basically geared towards the future with a lot of questions going on before we go to vegas i know beast mode is not going to be with us when we go to vegas so maybe draft a really great running back either next year or the following year get a middle linebacker solidify a lot of pieces hopefully if we hit all those picks then it's a great thing. We don't like to hear that. I don't like to hear it. I'd rather have Khalil Mack on the team, but if we hit those four first round picks, then we straight. We good, Raider Nation. We lie. I know this whole thing got the Raider Nation split, uh, whether they want to hate Khalil Mack or hate the Raiders. Well, with, you know, with that said, you know, I just want to congratulate the Chicago Bears on getting a really great player. 
Whew, it, it's a tough pill to swallow, Raider Nation, and it's going to be kind of crazy to see Khalil Mack in a different jersey. It's already kind of crazy seeing him with the Bears jersey. I did do like a little video thanking Khalil Mack because at the end of the day, guys, you guys can hate the guy. You guys can hate the Raiders organization. At the end of the day, he was a Raider, and like I say, like we all say, once a Raider, always a Raider. Whether he left for the contract or he left because he wasn't happy, I don't know. And the least I could say is just thank you for the time you've been a Raider. And I did do a video, so you guys can check that out. It's called Thank You, Khalil Mack. You know, just had to throw that plug in. But overall, Raider Nation, I feel like it's not really a bad deal. We got loaded with draft picks. This is the biggest trade for a defensive player, I believe, in the history of the NFL. And hey, why not? This is one of the best players in the history of the NFL. I, I don't blame Chucky. I don't blame Reggie. I don't blame anybody. It's just a business. They all have to take care of it. They were all not happy on some point, you know, and I, I'm pretty sure Chucky would have loved to have Khalil Mack playing for us. But with the core that we do have and the draft that we did have this year, I feel like we should be solid. The way the defense looked in preseason, hopefully they can carry on to the regular season and then we'll be okay you know we got young guns like Arden Key, PJ Hall, Mo Hurst, we got Bruce Irvin on the other side balling out uh, hopefully this year we can all ball out and we just forget about it and I feel like the Raider Nation will get over it if we start the season and we start banging out and defense starts balling out and we'll be good you know we'll be good with all that said Raider Nation I wish nothing but the best for Khalil Mack it hurts being a Raider fan and not seeing him in that black and silver, especially if he's going to be on the other side of Derek Carr. I wish him the best of luck. I hope this doesn't bite us in the ass in the future. I hope that these four first round picks ball out for us or they become all stars as well, Hall of Famers. But let me know what you guys think, Raider Nation. Drop it in the comments below. What is your initial thoughts of this whole thing? Let me know. But with all that said, Raider Nation, like I said, if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe to your boy. Hit that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell icon to notify you guys when I upload another video. I got a lot of videos coming up and I'm planning to get this thing rolling, get this thing started. I got a hype video coming up and I got a pregame video coming up and maybe an extra bonus video this week, Raider Nation. Just stay tuned. I'm gonna be pretty busy. And if you're on Instagram, follow me at some more Raider. I'm about to hit 10K. Shout out to the Raider Nation. But once I hit 10K, I'm planning on going live, maybe doing a Q&A session with the Raider Nation just to say thank you and just to answer any questions you guys have. I know this live thing, I've been getting a lot of good feedback and thank you Raider Nation and everybody that tuned into my live stream last Saturday with this whole Khalil Mac issue. Um, but Raider Nation, your boy's more ready to gotta go. So yeah, we is yeah.